Thank you, Mayor and Council of the City of Vancouver for this opportunity. I am Miriam Esquitin, City Studio of Vancouver Director. We are very proud to present to you our annual report of highlights for 2020-21 at City Studio of Vancouver. Our work happens on the ancestral and unceded lands of the Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil nations. As an immigrant, there are privileges I enjoy from a history of colonialism, more so working at the intersection of university and the municipal government. So individually and through our work, I am very committed to decolonization, learning and transformation. And I am pleased to be joined by the City Studio Vancouver team and an alumnus for this report. I've always been inspired by the transformation that can be achieved when communities come together. You and the city staff are in a privileged position to shape the policies that transform and improve our city. Our mission is to enable collaboration and co-creation between the city of Vancouver and the students, faculty and researchers of four partner post-secondary institutions towards a more sustainable, livable, joyful and inclusive Vancouver. The framework opens up channels between the city and the expertise at each of our partner schools. In these channels, we facilitate relationships. We design projects for research and engagement, and we run experiments that can lead to deeper knowledge and permanent solutions in all of the city's strategic priorities. It is my privilege now to introduce the executive director and co-founder of City Studio, Dwayne Elverum, to share a few words. Thank you, Miriam. I'd like to say a few words about our work and the potential of City Studio as a model for strategic collaboration, experimentation, and inclusivity. In the 10 years that we've been doing this work with city staff, we've been guided by a key question, and that is how many different ways can our land and municipal leaders work with our academic institutions to improve our communities and help our city? In exploring this question, we've seen that the City Studio model has really meaningful mutual benefits. The city itself now has a permanent channel to all of the capacity of our post-secondary sectors. Through these channels, staff gain support on project and work plan priorities. The students gain work integrated learning and career skills, working with the city in their four credit classes. Faculty and researchers gain access to the inner workings of everyday city building. And citizens are provided opportunities for engagement while contributing important local knowledge and expertise. Now, Medium will provide more details on the impact in Vancouver specifically, but thanks to the City of Vancouver, as well as strong support from our social innovation funders, the McConnell Foundation, the Vancouver Foundation, and the Business Higher Education Roundtable, we're now a Canadian charity that provides other cities with everything they need to know to launch a city studio. Including Vancouver, we now have 15 cities in our growing city studio network, from Victoria to Montreal to Cornerbrook. And recently, we all held our Hubbub Project Showcase to celebrate and share the work of the past year. Collectively, this network is providing opportunities for 17,000 students to contribute 400,000 hours of class time on real problems in their cities. This network is showing how normal and impactful it can be when our largest public institutions work together in the everyday business of city building. I want to thank you for this opportunity to report on this year's work and I'll pass it back to Miriam to share more details on the work at City Studio Vancouver. Thank you, Duane. We know it's been a particularly challenging year for you and city staff with greater needs and urgency in order to address the health, social and environmental emergencies in our city. Our response was to double down on our commitment to support our collaborators, adding capacity, making their lives easier and more enjoyable. This was facilitated by our City of Vancouver liaisons as Sustainability Director and Assistant Director Doug Smith and Brad Badelt. So we refined our programs and delivery models. We adapted to remote and asynchronous ways of collaborating. Besides strengthening our main programming, we also launched two new branches, one specifically for engaging large group of students in civic literacy and awareness projects, and the other one to support process improvements at the city. What we saw was an increase in participation. 1,433 students collaborated with 72 staff 
and 62 faculty in issues such as climate action, decolonization, COVID recovery, youth engagement, digital transformation, and more. That's the most number of students, staff, and faculty ever involved in City Studio in one year. As well, we continue to see that 90% of students and staff find the experience useful, and 84% of participants feel more connected to the city. Now, the amazing project coordinators, Kelly Garner and Ileana Kostrut, and City Studio alumnus, Bradley Sarandi, will show you highlighted project examples and one story of impact. This first project asks the question, how do we deepen democratic engagement for all our residents? Three UBC graduate students chose to answer this question with a reconciliation lens. Exploring Our Roles is a transformative online English conversation club for newcomers to examine the themes of colonization, reconciliation, and systemic racism, and to explore our roles as non-Indigenous peoples living on unceded land. The students developed and piloted a Zoom discussion series grounded in a curriculum of topics such as the Indian Act, residential schools, myths, facts, and more. Newcomer participants agreed that this English Conversation Club format has been a powerful learning experience and should continue in the future. Staff mentors say engagement like this reminds us of the power of dialogue to move civic literacy forward. Imagine a city where all newcomers could build community connections and language skills while learning about this land and its history. Our second project asks the question, how do we connect the city's operational needs with the technical expertise at our local post-secondaries? This is the question that guides one of our new program options. A team of BCIT computer sciences students developed an application that can search, extract, and update municipal performance data in a user-friendly format, saving hours of time and allowing staff more capacity for analysis and planning. Staff say, the process to collect this data is a manual and time-intensive one. This collaboration has offered us new ways that technology can be leveraged to improve our existing processes. This is just one example. Imagine a city where expertise from BCIT's 35 technical programs continue to operational improvements, digital transformation and innovation with further possibilities for applied research and implementation. This third project example asks the question, how do we strengthen civic literacy and democratic participation pathways in Vancouver and among youth? Informed by an increasing need from city staff to engage youth in future visioning, planning and city building, this year City Studio offered new programming. We call this the engagement branch. In partnership with the UBC Center for Community Engaged Learning, we piloted a collaboration model where 436 students in five course collaborations offered their multidisciplinary perspectives on what complete communities look like, where they feel a sense of belonging or exclusion in their cities, how City Hall can be designed to be more welcoming and participatory, and what they as residents uh, can do about the issues they care about. 100 Postcards from the Future are one example where design students offer their vision for Vancouver's new City Hall campus. Imagine a city where student voices contributed and shaped every strategic plan consultation. And now I'd like to pass it to Bradley Sarandi, a City Studio alumnus who co-created the project Cultivate Inclusivity to tell us about his City Studio experience and its impact. Hello, my name is Bradley Sarandi and I'm a fourth year human geography student at Simon Fraser University. I got involved at City Studio in the spring 2020 semester when I took part in SFU's Civic Innovation Change Lab, which is a program where students work on semester long projects on issues that they would like to see bettered in the community. My semester long project became Cultivate Inclusivity. Cultivate centered on creating flexible employment opportunities for individuals within the downtown east side. And this was ideated and prototyped through our multiple community interviews with different organizations that stressed the different needs of the community. 
Currently, Cultivate Inclusivity is on social media, empowering and educating individuals to take action on different issues that are being faced within the downtown east side and educating on how we can change the stigmas that are surrounding the downtown east side. In the future, we hope to get more hands-on experience and create hands-on impact with different community members within the downtown east side, centering our original innovation. Being able to participate at City Studio was so beneficial to me as a student. Being in the environment faculty, I often think about what I can do after my degree and how work in the city will look like after my degree. Being able to collaborate and work with different professionals that are passionate about bettering the same issues as me was so beneficial to me as a student, and it really made me feel empowered to make change in the community. I feel so grateful to opportunities provided through City Studio through the facilitation of having me work directly with the city and different professionals. I think that these opportunities just wouldn't have been possible without the facilitation from City Studio, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have spent my semester at City Studio. Thank you so much. This next example is something we call a story of impact. These are stories of projects, people, or policies that have been implemented or transformed through a City Studio collaboration. City Blocks is a story that began in the summer of 2019 with four teams of Langara fine arts students grappling with the knowledge that the urban heat island effect disproportionately impacts residents in the downtown east side. Their challenge was to propose a physical design intervention to mitigate the heat island effect. City Blocks is a colorful modular seating that can take advantage of existing shaded locations in the downtown east side to provide SRO residents respite from heat. The Blocks mobility would allow the city to test different locations and usability as they don't have to be bolted into the ground like benches. Informed by the Union Gospel Mission, the Strathcona BIA, and city staff from downtown planning and Viva teams, students built 12 prototype blocks in the Langara makerspace with funding from the Downtown East Side Capital Grant. The pilot is ready to launch in the 2021 summer season. But the story does not end here. The relationships and trust built in this collaboration have led to a three-year partnership invitation from Langara College to implement, test, and pilot more city studio projects with potential for urban innovation. Thank you, Kelly, Ileana, and Bradley for sharing these hopeful stories. Well, counselors, we hope this gives you a sense of the range of our work and impact. Every project and collaboration is a story like this, an invitation to transform our city with creativity, agency, and connection. And we have 30 more each term. As well, this coming year will be our 10th anniversary, and I invite you to engage with us on this special occasion. We are here to help you shift culture and lead the way for others. We look forward to continuing this work with you.